Hi again. This uh, video I was thinking about doing. Um, I'm trying to get like uh, into the legalese of uh, New York State because that's uh, you know a bit of blackest night. <laughs> um, it really is. It's, it's quite. Uh, it's a warm actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, 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 you know the, the the laws of New York State, especially pertaining to like firearms, for example, are very murky. Um, they're non-specific in a lot of uh, the codes. I think that it almost seems like it's intentional. I don't know, you know. Actually, I think to confuse people. Um, I figured I'd just do a short video for people, you know, thinking, you know, when we come to New York State to shoot or to hunt. Um, just so you might be aware. Like if you're hunting, for example, like they have back tags they put on your back and they have the color coded <clears throat> they use like a special paper so you can have the right color and the right tag and you have the license to go with it and uh NCON is, is fond of stopping by uh, state parks you know uh, i've been stopped by them even in the more obscure state parks like out of the way you know, i don't get doesn't get a lot of traffic yet they pop up you know uh, so if you think you're going to go somewhere where you're not going to see, you know, like an NCON guy, no, you'll, you'll see him. And, uh, and that's a consideration if you're coming out of state, for example. I don't know what other states are like, but New York State, they don't like uh, loaded guns on the road. So if you're uh, walking on the road, say, you know, even if you're going from your car to, say, to a you know, path in the woods, leave your gun like that, unloaded. Load it once you get off the road, because you, know? you know it's you know obviously you can carry around the gun whether you get a you know if you get a rifle or a shotgun you don't need a permit in New York or anything like that you don't need to you know well outside of New York City I said in New York City they believe you have to register them but not in New York State but uh, they don't appreciate it if you have a loaded gun on the road and if you do have a loaded gun or you have a closed breech and uh, the NCON guys you know, show up, and they see that, they may get twitchy, and they do carry, you know, they carry pistols, so, you know, if you want a, an NCON officer, you know, with a loaded gun getting twitchy at you, you know, go right ahead, but generally you're better off, you know, keeping your firearm like that, you know, you can hold whatever you want, you can go down sideways, just as long as they see that breach is open, you know, and there's nothing in it, then they'll be happy, you know, if you're on the road, you know, so that's a little bit of a consideration. Um, like I said, NCON, you know, likes to see the right license and tags, and they will stop you, they will give you tickets, and tickets in New York State by NCON are expensive, and not cheap, you know. I mean, I could say, I do understand why they have NCON in New York, I mean, there are some really nasty people out there who take advantage of, uh, the good nature of others. Uh, there was a guy down in Saratoga County, uh, a few years back. He got caught. This guy, you talk about poachers. One thing, I mean, if somebody was poaching the extra deer once in a while, I mean, there is a, you know, I'm not saying you should do it, but, you know, there is a, you know, overpopulation of deer, especially in the southern zone. But this guy was making a living off of deer. He was uh, selling the skins, selling the meat, and he was using a uh, an ATV to do it. He would take, basically go in the woods on his quad on state land or, you know, it's other people's private land, uh, shoot deer, you know, drag him back to his house, skin him and all that. I mean, this guy was like, you know, I think they found, you know, like about uh, 40 or 50 skeletons, you know, of like various parts of deers and that wasn't even, probably not even all of it. He'd been doing it for years, you know. So, it's, you know, it's people like that that kind of ruin it for everybody else, you know. But he did get a lot of trouble, and I think he actually got some jail time out of that one, you know. So, good riddance to bad rubbish. That's what I say. You know, if you can, you know, at least come close to following the rules and play fair, you know. You know. You know. Know what you are. <laughs> anyway, I also want to touch a little bit on the firearms, because, uh, I mean, you know, I maybe consideration in other places. New York is kind of like, 
you know, places where brush guns are probably the ideal weapon. Um, unless you're maybe out west of New York. West of New York is very open and, you know, there's a lot of open spaces. And there's some places like the Adirondack. You can probably find some open spaces. But for the most part, you, your best friend is going to be a gun like like this and a, with a short, obviously a shorter barrel because this one's an old one with a long barrel. But like a 30-30, which this is. With like, you know, a short uh, barrel, like a carbine or a brush gun. I mean, those are the most popular. I mean, 30 30 is extremely popular in New York. And brush guns are very popular. And for that reason, I mean, if you're shooting something like this even, this is a carbine. But this carbine, you know, the, the you know the projectile that comes out of it a minimum of 2200, probably more 23 to 2400 feet per second. You know, as opposed to the 30-30, which is like right 19. So this thing goes and goes and goes. This is a uh, Mosin uh, Type 53. It's a Chinese carbine. Uh, and uh, you could use this, but like I said, but be, you got to be a little more cautious of where you're aiming. I mean, some people use shotguns for that reason. Uh, because even with a slug, you know, a slug is not going a half a mile. I mean, they, you know, it's just, it's just not. You know, they're only good for, you know, as a brush gun, you know, they're only good for about, you know, 50, 60 yards on a good day, you know. But they'll do the job at that distance. And, you know, this is legal in New York. You know, you can have your pistol grip. You can even have a telescoping stock. You can have your little flashlight. You can have your, um, what should we call it? Your, uh, you cannot have a silencer. You can have a muzzle loader. I mean, muzzle loader. <laughs> no, that's a different thing. You have a muzzle brake. I'm sorry. I just had a, like, a, a brain part or something. Uh, you can have a muzzle brake, you know, you know, but you can't have silence from New York of any kind. You know, you know. No one likes suppressors, although they're talking about it. They're talking about suppressors in New York, but, you know, right now it's iffy. But right now they're illegal in New York. But on a pump shotgun, a lever action shotgun, a bolt action shotgun, or a single shot shotgun, you know, you can have Whatever you want, even a double barrel shotgun, as long as, you know, you can have whatever you want on it. You could have, like I said, telescope stock, this, puzzle breaks, all that. Rifles, eh, you know, you can get away with some of this stuff in a bolt action, like this. Like, I get out with this thing, you know, you know, with the uh, different stock and all that crazy stuff. But when you get to semi-automatics, it doesn't matter if it's a shotgun, a rifle, whatever. You can have any of it, nothing. Zero. No telescopic stock, no pistol grips, no muzzle brakes, no add ons. Have you ever seen a safe act friendly AR 15? Well, you know what I mean. It's just, you know, hideous. Um, so, it's a consideration. Except if you're going to do some hunting in New York, you know, with a center fire rifle, you know. Bring your older one, you know, bring your 30-30, you know, and, you know, because if you come from another state and you bring an AR-15, it's not safe, act friendly, who knows, you know, you may have NCON writing a ticket, you know, it's a consideration. I mean, when it comes to that kind of thing, like the add-ons on rifles, we're one of the most strictest states in the Union, so it's a consideration. You know, the strong, like I said, you know, there's a few other things I could say, but, uh, like I said, I don't want to get too technical. Like, it's just some simple advice, you know. I mean, I've done some hunting in New York, mostly small game. I'm not really a big game hunter. I kind of wanted to get into it, but I, you know, I've had too many uh, health issues, too many problems with my legs, and, you know. So, like, I can't really go out and sit all day or walk around, you know. Like, you know, I can only do a little bit of in and out once in a while, and you know, hit a squirrel or a rabbit. So. Maybe one of these days if I get some of my problems sorted out. But anyway, you know, I mean, I have, you know, gone out in the past when I was younger. And, you know, I know a lot of friends who deer hunt, and, you know, they're pretty good at it, you know, so. But like I said, I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, give you any great advice on uh, how to bag a deer. Just, you know, some simple advice on uh, being cautious, you know, and, uh, and what, you know, what to do and what not to do. You know, like with your firearm, you know. Yeah. <laughs> It'll save you a lot of trouble, you know.
because like I said, there is no uh, open carry in New York. I just wanted to wrap it up. <clears throat> um, your thoughts. My best advice is like if you're going to do anything like hunting in New York, but anything in New York, is <laughs> be extra cautious because, you know, this state, they have so many ridiculous laws and, uh, and regulations. You can get a ticket for so many, you know, silly things that, uh, you know, you're better off uh, being, you know, like I said, being careful because... Uh, Because that's just the nature of the game, you know. Um, like I said, especially if you're not familiar, you know, with New York. I mean, I'm not trying to scare anybody. I mean, I've never had any serious problems, you know, hunting in New York, and nobody I know has. But with the Safe Act, though, it's you know, eh, you know, like I said, you want to err on the side of caution because it's just the way that it is. So that would be the best advice I could give. I mean, anything else I say here is just kind of you might want to take it with a grain of salt. So I'm no expert on some of this stuff. Like you said, you can read the Safe Act if you want to. And God, you know, God's help you if you do. Um, but uh, like I said, just be, you know, be a little cautious because, like I said, it's just the way New York is. You know, that you can't enjoy. You know, doing things you want to do for the most part. You know, it's just like, you know, like I said, you gotta be careful. Especially when it comes to firearms. You know. So, and that's it. Thanks for watching.